I'm s o n g k y u n g l o n g g u e s t Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make chicken chow mein. My chicken chow mein is scrumptious. It's like I'm talking about it, thinking about it. My mouth is watering. So you've got to try at home. It's really easy to make. So let's get started. First, you will need to marinate the chicken so the chicken itself has amazing flavor in it. I'm using one boneless and skinless chicken breast. It's about half pound. Slice chicken thinly into bite sizes. Put sliced chicken into a mixing bowl and add one teaspoon of soy sauce, one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, it's Chinese cooking wine. Don't worry if you don't have it, you can use regular rice wine or dried sherry. Half teaspoon of Chinese five spice, half teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda will tenderize the chicken breast and keep it moist. And a pinch of black peppers. Mix everything well until chicken is coated with the marinade evenly. So set aside the chicken, now we are going to make the real simple delicious sauce. All you need is a half cup of chicken stock and three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Combine them together, ta-da! Your sauce is ready. Super easy, right? Now it's time for the vegetables. For this beautiful fragrance vegetables, I choose to use three cloves of garlic, finely chopped. It's about a tablespoon. Half the size of fresh ginger, finely chopped. It's about half tablespoon. One fresh red chili. Today I'm using fresh now. Remove the sea and julienne. These are the fragrance vegetables that you've got to use for this delicious chicken chow mein. And let's keep chopping all the rest of the vegetables. Two ounces of shiitake or buttermilk mushrooms, sliced. Four ounces of bamboo shoots, sliced. Four ounces of baby bok choy, wash it through really well and remove the stem. The little ones, you can just leave it whole or cut it into half. And the bigger one, cut it into quarter. Three green onions cut into two inch pieces and four ounce of the bean sprouts. These are my favorite vegetables to use chicken chow mein or regular vegetable chow mein, but you can definitely just switch around whatever you like or whatever you have in the refrigerator, like water chestnut, bell peppers, carrots, those are delicious in here too. And last preparation is this noodles, Chinese egg noodles. Today I'm going to use this pre-cooked ready-to-use egg noodles. This is so convenient, that's why I love it so much. But if you cannot find this, definitely use uh, the dried one, the dried egg noodles. You just need to uh, pour hot water and whenever they get loosened and get softer and drain it. Do not cook it like fully cooked then it will be just overcooked later on because it will keep cooking in the wok with other vegetables and the sauce. Turn my stove over high heat, the highest heat you can go, and then add a tablespoon of oil. My wok and oil is smoking hot. I'm going to add the chicken that we marinated earlier. Spread the chicken evenly so they will nicely golden brown all over. They are thinly sliced the chicken breast. You do not want to cook more than three minutes. So when the chicken is about three quarter way cooked and nicely golden brown like so, turn off the heat and remove the chicken from the wok to another plate. Like so. Oh my God, it smell already fantastic. So now we are going to turn the heat back up to the high heat and add two tablespoons of oil. And don't be hesitated about how much oil we are using in this recipe because not enough oil is gonna make just your fried noodles super dry and you don't want that. That's disaster, it's something you wanna, uh-uh. Do not even deal with it, okay? <laughs> All right, so my oil is hot now. I'm going to add these fragrance vegetables, the garlic, ginger, and chili. Let all the fragrance coming out to the oil. About 30 to 45 seconds. Just don't cook them too long because they will burn and you don't want that. So now I can smell all this beautiful aroma. I'm going to add the mushrooms, bamboo shoot, and the baby bok choy. Yeah, baby bok choy. <laughs> Stir fry about one minute or until the vegetables got softened. It's now time to add the noodles and the sauce. Woo! Yeah, let's do this! 
Mix everything well, and you will see the sauce is really watery now. But by the time when the noodle is fully cooked, the sauce is just enough to coat it everything just deliciously. You just have to keep stir so they will evenly cook and evenly absorb all the sauce and the stock. It will take about one to two minutes. All right, you see no sauce in here right now because all the noodles absorb the sauce. Now time to add the chicken, the bean sprouts, and the green onions. And just stir fry away. I don't know why, but when I'm stir frying, I like shake my butt too. <laughs> So after add the bean sprouts and green onions, just mix them really well and let them cook in that heat about 30 seconds to one minute, but do not overcook them because you still want the crunch crunch bite. All right, now I'm going to turn up the heat and we are done. I'm going to serve on a plate. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my damn, look at this baby. Guess what? We are not done yet because we have to finish with some sesame oil and sesame seeds, the last nutty touch. Mm, mm, mm. So just a bit of sesame oil, just a little drizzle. And that little last touch of sesame oil also give really nice shiny looking. And some sesame seeds. Wow. Amazing. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. If you had a bad day at work, this is going to bring you some smile on your face. I guarantee you. I mean, who needs takeout? Hmm? Hmm? So good. Seriously, I can kill this. It's, it's way too good. It's way too good to stop eating. Mm -mm. Guys, must try this week. I'm telling ya, do not miss out. If you liked my chicken chow mein recipe, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and idea of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longast and this is Asian at home and I will see you next time.